how to calculate the area of a triangle. In this figure, we have a triangle ABC. And from this vertex A, we have drawn a perpendicular on this vertex, on this side BC. So from vertex A on the side BC, we have drawn the perpendicular and this perpendicular is actually height. It's actually called height or altitude. Okay, and this makes 90 degree on this side. This side will be called, this one BC is base. So this height and the base. In our earlier video, we learned about the area of a parallelogram and there we learned that area is actually base times height. The only difference in the case of a triangle is that this area in the case of triangle area, if we denote this with A by A, then this becomes half times base times height. Okay, so for parallelogram, it was base times height, but in this case, in the case of triangle, this is half times base times height. So for this triangle, ABC, your area becomes half times base is BC times height is AL. If you know these two values, then you can calculate the area. Now, even we can have the base as AB and the corresponding altitude as if we draw a perpendicular from C on this AB, then we can take this perpendicular and the corresponding base. Similarly, we can draw a perpendicular from this vertex B on the side AC and then the side AC becomes base and the corresponding altitude will be this one that is drawn from B on this line AC. Okay. In, in all those cases, this formula is going to be fixed. It's going to remain fixed. Let's solve some problems. In this triangle PQR, QR is given 4 cm and this is the height, that is the altitude perpendicular drawn from with the vertex P on this side QR. So we know this, the length of this PS that is 2 cm. So PS that is height, that is height is actually 2 cm and this side SR, sorry QR is actually base is 4 cm. If you have to calculate area and if we denote area by A, then A is equal to half times base times height. So half times what's base? Base is 4. What's height? is 2, right? Centimeter square. So your area comes 2 centimeter, sorry, it comes 4 centimeter square. 4 centimeter square. In this case, as you can see, this is actually a obtuse angle triangle. Clearly this is greater than 90 degree and therefore this line segment goes like this. This, since it is greater than 90 degree, it is an obtuse angle. In obtuse angle, if we draw from this vertex a perpendicular, then of course it will lie outside the triangle. Like in this case, we can see our perpendicular is actually inside the triangle only. But in this case, when you try to draw a perpendicular line from this vertex L, then it will not be inside the triangle but the outside the triangle and therefore we have extended this base with the dotted line. Whatever be the case, formula is going to remain the same. That is area is equal to half times base times height. In this one, your height is 
2 cm that is LO and your base is MN that is 3 cm therefore your area of this triangle LMN remember you are finding the area of triangle LMN not of LON LO is of course the perpendicular or the height of this triangle but it's not inside the triangle and it's outside the triangle this is just the extension of this base okay so area of triangle LMN not of LON remember that's really very important that differentiation is important so area of triangle LMN is equal to half times base is what 3 times what's height it's 6 sorry it's 2 centimeter square so your area comes as 3 centimeter square now in this triangle ABC again AD is a perpendicular drawn on the side BC opposite side so BC becomes base and this AD is what height so this AD is 3 centimeter is actually what is height you have to find BC that is this one you have to find the base we don't know about base but what's given to us area is given to us right this information is given to us so again area of triangle ABC of triangle ABC is equal to half times base times height what's A? A is 36 centimeter square then it's half times what's base base we don't know we have to calculate that so uh, that's BC height is how much is 3 centimeter so this becomes BC becomes 70 sorry let me write like this completely 36 times 2 this will go if you cross product it it goes like this 36 times 2 and then this 3 comes here centimeter so BC is 72 or 3 centimeter that is BC comes as 24 centimeter so the base BC is 24 centimeter in this triangle that is PQR again you can see we have drawn a perpendicular that is height PL it's an obtuse angle triangle so from this vertex when you draw a perpendicular line it will not lie inside but outside therefore this is the extended base QR and there is another height that is that has been drawn from this vertex q but on the side p r okay so we have two heights this one and this one what else information do we have we have p r that is here 8 centimeter q r 4 centimeter p l sorry p l 5 centimeter we have p l we have PR, we have QR. Okay, what's the area of the triangle PQR? What's the area of the triangle PQR? So you have to first find this and then you have to find the size of QM. Let's solve for the first one. What's area is equal to half times base times height. Now, if you see here, if you look at the information that is given, we know that QR is how much? That is this one is actually 4 cm. And this is the base and corresponding altitude is which one? That's this. Though it's extended here, but again, this is the opposite vertex to the QR 
and we have a perpendicular from there so this will be the altitude or height so a becomes half what's base 4 times what's height height is this one pl is 5 cm so this becomes 5 cm square why cm square because this is 4 cm times 5 cm so 4 times 5 cm square when you multiply cm with cm this becomes cm square unit is very very important or let me write it otherwise you'll get confused 4 cm times 5 cm this gives you half times 4 times 5 cm square okay units also also get multiplied this gives you area as 10 cm square now we know the area we can clearly see that as we have discussed just a few moments back that when we calculate the area then what we have to keep in mind is a base and the corresponding altitude to that base in this when we are calculating the area here we took this as the base and the corresponding altitude was this one but if we take this one as the base and the corresponding altitude this one as the, uh, for this base then area is going to be same now if you're wondering that why we are now again considering this as a base and the corresponding altitude this one because we have to find the length of qm that we don't know now since area is equal to half so area is equal to half times base times height what is the area area is now fixed we have calculated the area and we don't know and we do know, do know its value now so this is 10 cm square then half times what's base in this case now pr so pr is how much is 8 cm times we don't know this height we have to calculate it so let it be qm okay now this becomes 4 cm gets cancelled so we have qm as 10 cm square divided by 4 cm now again qm is actually if you divide 10 by 4 what do you get 2.5 right and again when you multiply centimeter with centimeter this becomes centimeter square and here we have centimeter square divided by centimeter then this becomes what centimeter and how we do this this is 2 so simply what you have to do is write centimeter this is the power that is 2 right and this is the power of 1 right anything of the power so 2 minus 1 this comes as centimeter right? so keep this thing in mind that you have to uh, you know solve the units also so qm is equal to 2.5 centimeter in mensuration always keep the importance of the units abc is right angled at a a b c is right angled at a ab is equal to 5 centimeter ab is equal to 5 centimeter BC is equal to 13 centimeter and AC is equal to 12 centimeter. Now, this is right angled here. You have to first calculate, you have to first tell the area of triangle ABC and then you have to tell the length, the size of AD now clearly in this case actually we have a triangle a b 
BC which is right angled at A. So think of it as this. Right? So this is A, B, C. Now this is actually 90 degree. Now since this is 90 degree, can you see that this, this side that is AC, this side that is AC is actually height, right? Because it's perpendicular. From the vertex C, if you draw a perpendicular on here, then it's intersecting at A actually. So this right angle, in a right angle triangle, this is actually, this becomes a height also. So here, this is height and this is the base. Okay, this is the base. So your, your area becomes, area becomes, half times base times height we have to calculate area let's denote it by a half we are saying that let's assume that this is the base that's a b so this is five centimeter and this is actually this one is the height that is 12 centimeter Okay, now I'll tell you one more interesting thing. In this triangle, we have taken this as a base, that's AB, and this as the perpendicular or the height, right? But some of you may think that if you look at this triangle as this one, let me rotate this triangle and make it like this one. Now this becomes C, A and B. I have actually think that you have you are holding this vertex C and you are holding this vertex A and simply rotate it like this. Okay, rotate it like this. So C falls here, A will come somewhere here and B goes up. That's what it, it is. So some of you can say that if I look this triangle in this way, then actually this C A, which is height in this triangle, actually becomes base in this triangle and this AB actually becomes the height, right? That's interesting thing, no? Yes, of course, you are right. Even in this case, if you are calculating the area, your area will become half times base, that is AC, times height, that is AB. What's AC? AC is 12 centimeter times what's AB? AB is actually 5 centimeter. Now can you see here? It's actually equal to this one only. Is there any difference? No. So whenever you are dealing with a right angle triangle, at the right angle, doesn't matter which one you take as a base or which one you take as a height, you are going to get the same answer. Like in this, if I look at this triangle in this way, then AC is my height and AB is the base. But if I rotate this triangle, okay, then in this case, AC becomes the base and AB is the perpendicular line, right? Whatever you choose, your answer is going to be the same. Now let's solve this one. So area comes as area comes as half times five times five times twelve. Now this is centimeter times centimeter. This becomes centimeter square. Remember, this becomes centimeter square. Just put a power of two. Right now, when you move to higher standards, then you learn more about units. Okay, you learn more about units. As of now, just think that whenever you are multiplying centimeter with centimeter, it becomes centimeter square. Okay, now this comes as 
I am solving this here. Okay, I am taking it here. A as half times this should be centimeter square. Half times sixty centimeter square. This gives you A as thirty centimeter square. I am again repeating. Always keep in mind the unit is very important. Okay, so area comes as thirty centimeter square. Now you have to tell the length of AD, the size of AD, that is this one. Now again, we have calculated the area by using this triangle ABC, AC as the height and AB is the as the base. Now if you take this BC as the base, this BC as the base, and this AD as the height. You, we know the area, area is not going to change. So take this base and take this height because we want to calculate the area of this, sorry, the size of this height. So let me remove this one here. This becomes what? Half times, what's base BC? Sorry, a that is area is equal to half times BC times this height that is AD, right? That we have to calculate. What's area? Area is not going to change. That will remain the same. That is thirty centimeter square is equal to half times what's BC? BC is thirteen centimeter times we don't know AD, so simply put it AD. Now, if you solve it, this comes as 30 centimeter square is equal to 13 over 2 centimeter times AD, right? 13, 13 times 1 becomes 13 over 2 and this unit, centimeter times AD. Now, if you cross multiply this, this becomes 30 times 2 right and this 13 will come here if you cross multiply it and this unit is centimeter square over centimeter or let me write it so this one was centimeter square over centimeter is equal to 80 Okay, so now you have AD as AD as 60, 2 times 30 is 60, 60 centimeter square divided by 13 centimeter. You have to deal units together and this number uh, separately. So if you divide 30 by 60, sorry 60 by 13 this comes as 13 4 this gives you 52 you get 8 and then 0 you get 6 78 something 4.6 so this 80 comes as 4.6 this is centimeter square and this is centimeter <clears throat> just what you have to do is write centimeter here right whenever it's this centimeter think of it as centimeter to the power one what will you think centimeter to the power one so when you are dividing write centimeter this is what what power is this raised to this is two what power is this raised to one so simply subtract it when you are multiplying centimeter times centimeter, think of it as power one, this as a power one. When you are multiplying, write centimeter, then one plus one. This becomes centimeter to the power two. But when you are dividing, this is centimeter to the power two, this is over centimeter, think of it as power one, then you subtract it. If it were, if it was like this, centimeter, cube that is raised to power 3 and this was centimeter square 
then this would become centimeter then 3 minus 2 you get centimeter to the power 1 or simply centimeter if it was centimeter cube times centimeter then this will become centimeter this you can think of as centimeter to the power 1 so see centimeter 3 plus 1 this gives you centimeter to the power 4 okay so simply 4.6 centimeter this is the answer